Today's top stories. 54 Islamic student societies of universities throughout the country issued a joint statement yesterday, criticizing the performance of the principalist-dominated ninth government in the past four years for being negative and impossible to defend, and emphasizing that President Ahmadinejad must step down. The students say, quote, Today, after nearly four years of Mr. Ahmadinejad's government's term in office, once again, based on everything that has befallen our country and nation during this period of time, we announce that the performance of the ninth government has been negative and impossible to defend. The strongly worded statement condemns all forms of suppression and warning that the continuation of the life of this government will increase anxiety about the future of Iran's national interests. It says, quote, In order to stop the current trend, we shout out loudly that Ahmadinejad must go. World Baha'i News Service reported yesterday that seven members of the Baha'i faith, who have been detained in Iran for nearly one year, may face a new accusation. Thursday marks the one-year anniversary of the imprisonment of the five men and two women, who have not been formally charged and been denied access to their lawyer, Shireen Abadi. According to the report, their families have recently been informed of a possible new charge, of being the corrupt on earth, which is punishable by death. Meanwhile, Christian Solidarity Worldwide yesterday called on Iran to release two Christian women being held in Tehran's Avin prison, Maryam Rostampour, 27, and Marzia Amirzadeh, 30, were arrested by Iranian security forces on March 5th. Reporters Without Borders yesterday voiced concern at what it described as a two-week-old wave of arrests of journalists in Iran. According to the Paris-based Press Freedom Watchdog, two more Iranian journalists have been arrested in the past two weeks bringing the total number of journalists and bloggers being held in Iran to 15, including two women. The group said, quote, Although Roxana Sabari was freed yesterday, many other journalists have been arrested in the past two weeks with little being said about it. These stories and more at Television Washington.